Windows Defender conflicting with other security software might be the problem. If you wish to use any other anti-malware tool, first method is mandatory. Press the displayed key simultaneously. Then, from menu select file and run new task. Type in the displayed command and click OK. In newly opened Windows select update and security option. Then select Windows Security on the left side of the window and click on Open Windows Defender Security Center. Next, go to Virus and Threat Protection and then Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Once there, switch off Real-Time Protection. However, if you want to use Windows Defender as your main anti-malware software, you should uninstall your current antivirus program. Let's disable and remove third-party antivirus. Your antivirus program might have a self-defense module which prevents from killing its processes. In our case it is a vast antivirus, so go on and open it. Click on a menu button in upper right of the window and select settings. In the settings menu on the left select troubleshooting. Find and uncheck the box that enable a vast self-defense module option. Then click OK and confirm again by clicking Yes. Press the displayed key simultaneously. In the Task Manager find and right-click on your security software and select End Task. Then click on File in the menu again, select Run New Task, enter the displayed command and click OK. In the newly opened window select Apps. Scroll down to your antivirus software and select it to uninstall. After uninstallation process is finished, reboot your PC. Adding a new user account to your PC might help too. Press the displayed key simultaneously. Then, from menu select file and run new task. Type in the displayed command. Check the box to run this task with administrative privileges and click OK. In PowerShell type in the given command using your desired username and password and press enter. Reinstalling video and sound car drivers might help too. Press the displayed key simultaneously. Then, from menu select file and run new task. Type in control panel and in newly opened window select device manager. In device manager find your graphics adapter under display adapters entry, and your sound adapter under sound, video and game controllers entry. Right click on your graphics adapter and select uninstall. In newly opened window check the box to delete the driver software for this device and click uninstall again. Do the same for your sound adapter and then reboot your PC. After your PC is up and running you'll have to reinstall those drivers. Corrupted or damaged system files are the most common issue which initiates errors like this one. Therefore, it's advisable to check and fix the improper Windows files. Press the displayed key simultaneously. Then, from menu select file and run new task. Type in CMD and check the box to run this task with administrative privileges. Type in the displayed commands, each followed by pressing enter. Close command prompt and reboot the system. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.